Good morning, everybody. What up? Say good morning, kids. Yeah, it's, it's really it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's not good morning. It's good afternoon. It's we good had afternoon. a late night, it's so noon we're time. getting a slow start today. Yeah, we took so. Let me first tell you what it is that we do. Trent is an associate pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> didn't feel good. And of, Kiki doesn't feel good. Yeah, he doesn't really feel good. Of Conroe United Pentecostal Church. And we have been doing this for 10 years, actually. Um, actually, in January, um, Trent will have been doing this for 11 years. So it's closer to 11 now than it is 10. Um, and then uh, uh, we got married that June, so it was 10 officially in June for the both of us. So he is an assistant pastor, associate pastor. And then um, I, I help him. So good. So good. I, she writes my sermons. No, I don't. No, I don't. I help him. So I lead worship um, at our church. Um, it is something that I absolutely love, love doing. It is um, my passion. And um, so I get to do that. And then we also, right now, we are helping with our student group, Stan Student Ministries. And last night we took them to a big uh, youth conference a couple hours away and it was a very late night, very late night. And I get medicine. Yeah, and Kiki did not feel good. He just didn't feel good, so he had to take medicine. And, uh, but I think he's doing a little bit better. Are you doing a little bit better? Uh-uh. Oh, oh, no, we're still we'll taking we'll that pity, down. pity. Do you feel good? Okay, so that's that's what we do, and so a lot of our Saturdays is basically getting prepared for Sunday. That is our biggest work day of the week, and so tomorrow actually is a big Sunday. We are having a revival Sunday tomorrow, and we're super excited. I know it's going to be really good. So. Um, we're getting, um, we have a couple of guests that are in with us. So we're getting some hospitality baskets ready for them, going and doing all that type of stuff. It's fun, I enjoy doing that. Um, so we're on our way to go to HEB. For those of you who don't know what HEB is, it is the best grocery store of all time. In like, the world. yeah, in the world. There's Kiki none. It really has nothing on HEB. There is no grocery store greater than H-E-B. So that's where we're going. And then, shout out to Hobby Lobby. Gotta go to Hobby Lobby, the Christian store. Uh, Kiki knows what, actually it's sad when your three year old knows what Hobby Lobby is. He loves Hobby Lobby because if we haven't ever told you Kiki is obsessed with it's Santa Claus. Okay, I know every kid. A puppy, mommy. There was a puppy. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, there is a puppy. Look at the car. And look at that car. That car is awesome. That big puppy. Okay. So I know every kid loves Christmas. Every kid loves Santa Claus, snowman, all the works. But y'all, there is no kid that is obsessed with Christmas like that one right there. That one. Da, 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 da. Look at the chat. He is obsessed with Christmas. And to see him open Christmas pre presents, oh my gosh. It makes, yes, it's awesome. It makes your heart it feels like it's gonna burst with happiness. That's just how he is. I can't wait for Christmas time for you guys to see it because it is, it's so good. And so anyways, he is obsessed with Santa and his reindeer. 
as he calls them. He can't say reindeer, so he says rain here. And to hear him talk about Christmas and Santa Claus, oh, it's fabulous. And so, for Halloween, guess what he says he wants to be? Santa. He's going to be Santa for Halloween. Oh, and guess what he told me that I have to be? I have to be his elf. <laughs> Am I going to be your elf? Oh, Allie, what are you going to be for Halloween? A unicorn! She's obsessed with unicorns. I think she'll be five in January, and I think it's a prerequisite for girls that are about to turn five or that are already are they already are five is to love unicorns. Okay, some six year olds like unicorns? Okay. So if you're five or six and you're a little girl Oh, okay. So basically, five to twelve, you have to like unicorns. Oh, okay. But but mom's a little bit older. Okay, but mom's a little bit older, and I could care less about the unicorns. Anyway, this is a long rant. How did we get? We got here because Kiki loves Hobby Lobby, and then after Kayla goes to HEB, she's got to go to Hobby Lobby to get stuff or baskets that she's making. So come along with us today. So pretty much what he just said is, I like to talk. <laughs> hey man, Pastor Kayla. <laughs> There's nothing more in this world that I hate than heights. But I'm changing a projector bulb today. Yeah. So a lot of people always ask, well, what do you do? So I tell them. And every time, it's loud because I got some kids in here with me. But every time somebody asks that, it's always like two seconds after they just drop. A pretty solid cuss word and then it's the dreaded decision do you lie and tell them you like you help people or do you say I'm a pastor and you make them feel really bad for cussing or saying whatever they said so I always just choose the hey I'm still a pastor route just because I like to embrace that few seconds and it's always pretty funny for both of us anyway so everybody's like always asking what we do well in short, we do everything. It's not all glamorous what you see on Sundays. Sometimes it's changing a projector lamp that's, I don't know, 15 or 20 feet in the air and you hate heights. So here we go. What you working on? Um, I am working on backgrounds. For? Media for tomorrow. So good, Pastor Carol. It's actually very tedious, very hard. We can tell. <laughs> okay. okay guys, we're back. We finished all of our stuff that we had to do at the church. It took us a few hours, I think, but we got it done, and uh, now we're going to go drop our gift baskets off at the hotel, and so everything that we do, um, as far as that revolves around the church, our kids are pretty much the majority of the time they're with us and sometimes it's not so easy but Pastor Trent and I think that a few things that we want our kids to hold on just a second yes Kiki yeah we were at church okay so where was that 
So a few, few things that we want our kids to experience is number one, or a few goals we have for our kids. Number one, we want them to love and serve God their whole life. And hopefully they, prayerfully, they will never depart from how we raise them. But not only serving God, we hope that they have a true servant's heart. They serve others. And the reward that they'll have later in life is greater than any reward that they will ever be given with material things. So, we are going to this hotel to drop off baskets. Allie has helped me with them. But they're going to go in with us to drop them off and you may think well that is so small Mommy. yes it's very small Mommy. but I hope the older Mommy. they get that Mommy. they'll remember things like this Mommy. so that is what we're doing next yes Kiki I, I have to get me go up. what and I don't have to make me go up. I don't know y'all you know it's a good sermon you just preached, Mr. Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? I want to thank you for watching this video. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch and just tuning in to what our family is about and what we do. It is a chilly Monday in Conroe, Texas, so I wanted to close out the video outside and uh, it's just beautiful weather. But I wanted to thank you for watching. I have a couple notes on my phone. Um, we started YouTube, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I think we have 10 videos up. And uh, so we're just blown away at how kind of things are happening. 60% um, of our viewers come from social media, which is kind of what we thought was going to happen. Actually, I thought it would be greater. But what's shocking is 40% of all of our views come directly from YouTube. That means people are searching us or finding us, or the recommended video feature is just it's promoting us. and so. Um, the purpose of this video is to introduce our family to not our friends on social media who already know us, but the people who are watching that don't know us. We wanted you to know what we do and what our family is about. And we want to just promote wholesome lifestyles and a culture that's crazy and out of control and seems like all you hear is bad. We wanted to show the world and help propagate that not not everything is bad in the world but there is a lot of good and there's good people in the world and we just want to promote that so thank you so much for watching um, please comment like subscribe and i'm getting cold so i'm going to go inside um comment like subscribe thank you so much once again for just tuning into our family and getting to know us we hope that you have a good week god bless everybody